Yes, it's finally here, the DJI 04 Air Unit, and this is what I call the light. Uh, just to distinguish it from the Pro Unit that's also out there, and a lot of the people in the community have already started calling this the 04 Air Unit Light or the 04 Light, and I'll do the same just so we don't get confused. So I'm very excited for this product, obviously it's just been released and I've only just received it literally today in the mail and I thought I'd just do a bit of a, a quick just open the box of course and look at the, uh, the actual air unit itself and the camera. Of course you can see all the specs and details of this on other YouTube sites, uh, YouTube videos I mean, uh, and also on, this, on the site itself. Uh, all the information is already out there. So many people have already started doing reviews of this, so I'm sure you can find heaps of that information. So this video won't be about a review on the actual item itself, uh, the product and how it performs. I'm going to be doing uh, an actual build uh, series on this and this is just the introduction. So I'm going to be going through to detail what I'm going to be putting this into and a bit excited about what it's capable of in such a small device. So. Um, in this one, I'm going to be putting it into a Mobula 6. So a lot of people have a bit of doubts about putting it into a Mobula 6 frame like this. And this is the 2020, uh, 2024 edition frame. And I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So um, it might not work. Uh, it's, some things might not actually be able to power this up. So the flight controller here that I've selected. But I'm going to give it a go just to see if it works or not. Just to show everyone else out there. Um, people who are trying to find out what other solutions can be used with this air unit to see if you can get it into a 65mm whoop. I know there's other brands out there like Beta FPV and a few others are starting to push some of these products out as well so we'll see them coming out in the next month or so or two and I'm sure there's heaps of people who are going to be trying to do this as well. So I'm interested in seeing some of those come out given that this new product here which no one expected that DJI would actually do would actually be out. So. I'm NamFam, let's get into it. Alright, so first up I'm just going to tear into this box here and we can have a look at what's inside. And there we have it, the O4 Air Unit Lite. It is so small, I can't believe that they can cram all that technology into something this small but they were able to do it and also give it to us so we can enjoy it. So it looks really good. Obviously I've seen heaps of the leaks and the videos online already about this. So I'm quite familiar with everything. Um, I don't need to go through all the details of it all. Just you can see that there's the antenna here, the wire harness for connecting it to the flight controller, the camera of course, and the cover. You can pop that off and the air unit itself. So I'm gonna be going through and putting this onto this frame here. All right, so now that we have the air unit out of its box and we have an idea of what it looks like and I'm gonna be putting it onto this frame. So I'll put it aside for now and I'll just run through a few of the components that I'm gonna be putting into this build and just to give you an idea of hopefully what will work or what won't work. Um, and I do have some plans if this doesn't work on this flight controller of some things that I'll explain as well that I hope to will work uh, later on. So first up, like I said, the frame that I'm using is the Mobula 6 2024 edition. This is the white one. I do have a black one as well, and it's this one here. Uh, but I've decided to go with the white one for the HD kind of feel because um, HD Zero version of, I think, uh, one of these as well that is out there. So I thought I'd go HD for white and the black one I have as an analog. So that's the frame. The motors I've got is the, I'll just grab one here. Happy model and it's the 0702 28,000 kV. And the flight controller I've chosen for this is the Happy model Super X HD. And this is just an HD version. I'll take it out of the frame actually so you can see it a bit better. Uh, this is the HD version which doesn't have an onboard uh, OSD chip. It's just for HD. It doesn't have a VTX either, but it does have the Express LRS. Uh, receiver in here so you do have the antenna and I hope that this works. Now I've, a lot of the reports uh, online at the moment, Mads Tech has done a few things on already and testing that this draws about uh, five or six maybe seven watts so if you're running on five volts it will draw about one amp or a bit over one amp and hopefully this one uh, sorry hopefully the flight controller does support that because on the happy model website it does specify that this this does support 1.5 amps at five volts so 
hopefully this can run the air unit and not brown out. I don't know whether or not that will hold true. I'll have to test it out, but also I wanted to make this video, make this build so that we can actually see what does or doesn't work. To make things light in this build, I'm, I've also got these uh, peak screws here and they are from Beta FPV. I did pick them up from AliExpress, but they are super durable plastic style screws that uh, I'm going to be using to screw on the motors here. So I've got the original steel screws for the motor here already, but I will put on these ones, the peak ones, just to reduce that extra half a gram. And in a light build like this, and especially given that the 04 air unit light is on the heavy side compared to an analog build, uh, I'm going to try and save as much weight as possible. Another thing that I'll be doing in this build to reduce the weight again is these do have motor plugs on here. Uh, I will be desoldering that and soldering the motors directly to the flight controller. Hopefully I can do that by, uh, without actually screwing up the soldering and bridging some of the ESC FETs there. But hopefully I can get that done. Um, it will take some time to be careful about every little solder joint there to take it off and then solder on the points. But uh, hopefully that works well. For the canopy, I don't have a solution yet, but I will be designing a 3D printed TPU top for this and it'll be similar to one of the designs like this. I'll grab it. I'm just going to be using a design like this one here. Uh, just going to remodel it so that it actually fits the camera uh, square kind of design that we have here on the front and the, the way that it's kind of bent back here so that we can adjust the angle of the camera and on the two sides and the front. So I'm just going to design something similar to that print it out in TPU and hopefully use that as the canopy. One last thing I might try and do to reduce weight on this build is to replace this antenna here so that it doesn't have this shielding and heat shrink. So that's a, a bit of an ex of extra weight that I want to reduce just to see how the performance of the, the, the power reception of the transmission is. But I'll, I'll use the method of stripping this off or something like this here, modifying this so that it is the right length for the 5.8 gigahertz transmission uh, RF. So I'll have to cut this shorter, I believe. I'll look up the exact dimensions that I need to cut this down to and wire it up or plug it in and loop it back so that it's uh, sticking up at the back of the quad. So I'll be doing some of those things to reduce the weight, hopefully get this build together and be able to mount this on top as well. So I might have to design a couple of grommets or something to actually fit this on. Um, but I'll play around with that and you'll see that in the next video. I guess what we've got in here is the, the camera mount clip. I'm just gonna tear this out. I guess I'm not strong enough. So the air unit does come with these screws uh, and also these grommets as well, but uh, I won't be using them. I might try them uh, to see if I can mount it onto the frame with these grommets, but I don't think I will be able to. I'll just design something on and get them 3D printed. Anyhow, that's all I've got for this video. Just an introduction on what I'm going to do with the 04 Air Unit Lite. I'm going to be trying to build a 65mm Whoop 1S, uh, not a 2S, and hopefully get it up and running. If not, I'll actually try and find another solution with another flight controller and make another video so you guys know what will work. Alright, so just as I was editing this video, I saw a video from Albert Kim posted just recently showing that he had tried this onto his little quad that was 1S and it didn't seem to work very well. I think the flight controller that he had there was a 5 volt 2 amp BEC on the flight controller and it was still browning out uh, when he started to fly so he didn't recommend actually doing something like this but I'm still just experimenting, trying it out, seeing what works. So. I'm pretty sure that this might now not work, but I'm going to go ahead anyway. I do have another flight controller on the way. Uh, I've ordered the Beta FPV Matrix 3-in-1, which is rated for 5 volts at 3 amps. So hopefully that's going to be able to power this air unit and we can get flying and hopefully get everything working. So if you want to see the next videos of this series, please subscribe down below so you can get notified when another video comes out. And I hope to see you there. Hope you like this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.